Well, the winter so far has been very mild and at times pretty rainy, but rewind the tape and think back to the worst January most of us are still talking about. Our Ben Gelber joining us now with more on Ohio's most powerful and deadliest winter storm. A big blizzard here. Yeah, Mark and Darlene, a winter storm that folks growing up in Ohio will never forget and are still talking about more than 40 years later. 42 years ago this weekend, Ohio storm of the century turned communities into ghost towns in the face of hurricane force winds that drove snow into mountainous drifts. The day before it was raining most of the day, then there was nothing and you couldn't tell where the road was. Dave McManus was a corrections deputy with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office during the blizzard of 1978. And then as the blizzard got worse, uh, the deputies that were there when it hit were now prisoners also. The Franklin County Engineer's Office plowed rural roads and teamed up with deputies on patrol to help stranded motorists. The Red Lobster sign blew right across my car and I'm lucky to be alive. In the downtown store, they actually had a roof collapse. In Columbus, the winds gusted to 69 miles an hour as the temperature plummeted from 40 degrees at midnight to the single digits at dawn. I drove downtown. I had an old heavy car at the time and I could get downtown. Broad Street was entirely empty. No cars were out. Our office closed. The only time it's been around for over a century and it's the only time in its history that it ever closed. Bill Eichenberger now with the Ohio History Connection grew up in Youngstown and he'll never forget the blizzard. All the roads were closed down. Um, buses stopped running so that we uh, couldn't get bus to high school. It was almost eerie that you know th there were so few people out there and you knew that everybody was just sort of in their houses hunkering down and waiting for it to get a little warmer. Ohio Governor James Rhodes declared a state of emergency as drifts piled up to 20 feet high in Marion reaching the second story of houses. Almost 6,000 people were trapped in their vehicles and about 200,000 lost power. The Ohio Army National Guard used 800 vehicles and 45 helicopters to handle rescues and provide medical assistance. Governor Rhodes called the blizzard the greatest disaster in Ohio history. Ohio Army National Guard helicopters flew 2,700 rescue missions and thousands of volunteers who had access to snowmobiles and four-wheel drive were called out and they assisted police and they got doctors and nurses to hospitals so they could do their jobs too. Just an unbelievable uh, circumstance. It's just amazing. Wow. I remember being a kid in elementary school, just glad that we didn't have to go. But now you <laughs> look back and see all the this. Pictures are still oh stunning. Oh my gosh, to us today. yes. Thank you so yeah. much, Ben. You know, speaking of those pictures, we have an extensive photo gallery of that historic winter storm that's on our website, NBC4i.com.